What's up guys, J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside Waterford Lanes, where today I'm taking out that ripcord launch. We got that with a different layout on it. You guys know I've struggled with motive bowling balls, getting them to be too long. I've needed some stronger layouts. So we did something even a little more different. We went pinned down with this one. We went, still kicked the CG quite a bit. We went with 30 uh, and we still went with 40 half inch pin, but we went with like 70 degrees on that back angle to get that pin to be lower. See if we can't get the core to be in a little bit different position uh, and get it to still continue through the pins. So this should really get the ball to start picking up a little bit better for me, uh, be a little bit more rounded shape, not so quick hook stoppy like some of the other ones were. Um, so we're gonna take it out here on the short pattern. Again, I don't know how it's gonna look on the short pattern, 35 foot Broadway, but we'll take it out on a league shot as well. But first let's take it on the 35 foot pattern and then stay tuned for the league pattern review coming up soon in the next couple of days. But here we go, we're gonna take it out here and see what it's got, stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, ripcord launch. We got her out here, 35 foot pattern, pin down. CG kicked quite a bit. We're trying to smooth this ball out a little bit, but still give it some earlier ball roll. So I don't know that it's gonna be any good on this because it is a shiny cover, but we're gonna try. We're gonna start, we'll try to do the same thing, right around that eight, nine, 10 range now. Try to get it going right. We gotta get it going towards the gutter. So let's see what we got. I actually rolled pretty good. A little hook stoppy because it's 35 foot pattern. So it's got a lot of range or a lot of, a lot of lane left after 35 feet to have friction. So it's gonna hook and kind of stop and use it all up right then. We're gonna move left. Just gonna move five more left. We're gonna keep trying to get it towards the gutter. Bad balance, man. What was that? Ugh. I've been dealing with this balance crap again lately. Like all of a sudden, I feel like I'm on the side of my foot every shot. Let's throw that one again. Even though direction-wise it was good, but still wasn't what I wanted. A little better. You can see it still hook stops though. It stops in the right spot, so it don't matter. This ball might actually allow me to go all the way around the lane on this pattern because of the pin down reaction, the pin down layout. And five more left. Still throwing it towards the gutter. Ooh, she looks pretty good right here. Looking pretty good. Nice and clean, nothing crazy. Making good motion down lane. Kind of have to kind of attribute that to being a 35 foot pattern. You know, nine feet shorter than our normal house shot. So, I don't know, I'm gonna keep going left and now I'm gonna start getting around it. So it hopefully gets through the pens. That one really hook stopped. I'm gonna have to really get around it now. That one just looked like it started tumbling really fast. Like it just got going full and quick. I'm gonna throw in the same spot. I'm gonna rotate around it more. Still hook stoppy, but as we go left, maybe it'll hook stoppy in the right spot. No, 
Well, we're standing on 40. So we're going to try to throw it towards the right. Towards the gutter, I should say. We've got to rotate around it. That's going to overhook. That one came off my hand super slow. Super duper slow. Just dead jammed on it. Try that again. It's better. Yeah, hook stop. You don't want to get through there. Can't really rotate this one enough to get it to not hook stop with the pin down layout. And I mean, the pin down is supposed to make it a little bit more continuous, but because it's using up, I mean, it's a big shiny cover with a lot of friction down lane, too much distance for it to try to continue through it too much. So I have to like really spin it a lot, which I will, I will spin it up right here. Ooh, it got there. <laughs> I almost thought it was gonna go in the gutter. Love short patterns. All right, y'all, there you go. That is the Ripcord launch uh, on the 35 foot sport pattern with a pin down layout on it. Uh, definitely real quick off the back of the pattern just because, I mean, that's what's gonna happen on a short pattern with a shiny bowling ball like that. But the pin down actually might've helped it a little bit. You saw when it was playing a little bit further right, it hook stopped in the right spot. So that's an option you definitely have when you're playing some of these short patterns like that. Um, I still prefer the solid cover or urethane or something that can keep your angles a little bit more shut down. Um, but sometimes bowling centers require something like that where you have to kind of get your hand around it and you need it to kind of control the back part of the lane by stopping. So if you're looking for that, this is your ball. Um, but we're gonna do this on a, on a league pattern too so you can see this ball again. Uh, this isn't you know the best ball reaction you'll see, but. I do want to show some of these balls every once in a while. Some of these balls need to be seen on something different than a house pattern. So this is what we got. So if you want to get one of these, make sure to hit that link in the description down below and then stay tuned for the league pattern review here coming up shortly. So that's all I got for you. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Take care.